Region 11 Nurse of the Year Board went to the nurse at Mr. Senior School, Central Elementary, so I'm going to let him make the presentation. Good afternoon. Uh, it is with great pleasure to announce to you that uh, Mary Beth Batty, come up here, where's Mary Beth? Came to Central four years ago, I met Mary Beth and she greeted me in English and Spanish. She's a wonderful, wonderful bilingual nurse and she treats all the family members of our school as if they were one of her family members. She personalizes their care with phone calls, she calls, she finds every program imaginable to get them the services that they need to be healthy and have a great, great, strong will when they come to school. She takes on some new pastures this year. She's going to be working in the Louisville Medical Center and she takes on some very great shoes to fill in our school. We will miss her. Along with that, she was recognized by the Region 11 as Nurse of the Year and we're here to honor you with the Golden Apple Award for all your courageous service to our school. Her husband is here to recognize her as well. much for your patience. It's one of the favorite parts of the meeting is uh, doing the awards and seeing the kids. So I don't think we'll have many next month. <laughs> Speaking next month. Okay, moving on to action on items discussed during closed session. After, um, before I do this, I'd like to uh, first of all welcome Dr. Quentin Burnett. He, uh, this is our first official meeting, I believe, as our new uh, CFO. And welcome to the family. And also, welcome to Mr. Mike McDaniel, who um, is our newly elected school board member, Play Six. Welcome. <laughs> By law, after the, uh, the swearing in of the new board members after the May election at the first regular board meeting, uh, you, by law, we are required to reorganize the board, the election of officers. So we'll start um, this as a, for, uh, with the um, position of president. And um, uh, any nominations? And chairman, nominate Ms. Carol Kyer for school board president. Okay, Mr. Ferguson has nominated Carol Kyer. Any other nominations? I would like to nominate Ms. Vernell Gregg for president of the school board. Uh, second nomination for Ms. Fernell Gregg. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, those in favor for Ms. Carol Kyer for president, please raise your hand. That is Mr. Ferguson, Ms. Fowdy, and Ms. Kyer. And those uh, for Ms. Gregg, please raise your hand. That is Mr. Knapp, Ms. Gregg, Mr. McDaniels, and Ms. Uh, Latham, thank you. Uh, so, Ms. Gregg, uh, you are the first one. Um, in this meeting, you uh, now run the rest of the meeting. You run the rest of the meeting now. Man. You can just do it from there. I'll hand you the, I'll hand you the gavel. Maybe. <laughs> First, I would like to say thank you to the board for having the confidence in me to elect me as board president. I have trained very well, hard for to do the very best job that I could do as a board member, not necessarily for president, but since I came on board, I have attended a lot of leadership training and always with the purpose of doing what was absolutely best for the district. 
So I am honored to serve in this capacity and I will do my very best. Thank you. Next item on the agenda. Let's see. Oh, I have to do the rest of the election first. At this time, I entertain a motion for um, vice president. I'd like to have a motion for vice president. I nominate myself, Tom Ferguson, for vice president. Uh, Mr. Ferguson has been nominated. Are there any other nominations for vice president? Any nominations for vice president? I will nominate uh, Brenda Latham. I will nominate Brenda Latham. We have Ms. Brenda Latham for nomination for vice president. Are there any others? Here are none. Ms. Brenda Latham and Mr. Tom Ferguson's names are entered for vice president. Are we ready to vote? All in favor of Mr. Tom Ferguson for vice president, let me hear by raising your hand. One, two, three, four. Well, if Miss Five, if Miss Brenda Latham is voting for Mr. Tom Ferguson, I'm going to support Mr. Tom Ferguson. <laughs> um, all opposed? No, I'm sorry. There are. Let's raise your hands again. All in favor, of Mr. Tom Ferguson. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's unanimous now. Thank you. Mr. Tom Ferguson is now Vice President. I mean, Tom, it was great. Thank you for your vote. I appreciate your uh, privilege of serving you. Thank you. I think we'll make a team. I uh, will now entertain the motion for Secretary. Madam are President, there, yes. I nominate Ms. Brenda Latham for Secretary. Are there any other nominations for and, Secretary? And President, I nominate Ms. Julie Fowley. I have two names for uh, uh, Ms. Brenda Latham and Ms. Julie Fowdy for secretary. Are we ready to vote? Any other nominations? Are we ready to vote? All in favor, Ms. Brenda Latham for secretary. Let me show of hands. Six. All in favor, Ms. Fowdy. Congratulations, our new officers are President, yours truly, Vice President, Mr. Tom Ferguson, and Secretary, Ms. Brenda Latham. <laughs> Next item of business is to consider approval of personnel recommendations, resignation, and or terminations, employment of professional personnel and our administrative assignments are reassignments and we have that we have are they here we have Lamar middle school principal Turn that. madam president I move to approve the principals for Lamar middle school Highland Village Elementary School and College Street Elementary. We have a second. Been moved and seconded that we have um, consider approval of personnel recommendations. Um, all in favor? That's unanimous. The a point of order, you didn't mention the consider approval of personal recommendations, resignations, and or terminations, appointment of professional personnel and or administrative assignments or reassignments. Okay. You gotta make sure that the people are leaving get approved. Oh, okay. Did that. You just approved the oh. A, B, and C. You didn't do all of All right. Let's just go back and do the motion. Let's do it. Yeah. Ms. Greg, I'll move that we uh, approve the personal recommendations, resignations, terminations, Employment professional personnel and or administrative assignments or assignments as discussed in closed session and as recommended by the administration. There a second? Second. And moved and properly second that we approve all of the personnel recommendations as uh, outlined and we have that in our um, packets. Um, at this time, are you ready to vote? All in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. This time, may we introduce them? Lamar Principal, um, 
Dr. Waddell, would you? Madam President, members of the board, superintendent, the principal of Lamar Middle School is Miss Leanne Lewis, and she's at a conference and will join us in August. The second um, principal is Miss Shauna Miller, who is the new Highland Village Elementary principal, and she is in the audience with her family. Would you introduce your family member? This is my daughter, Haley. She's going to be a second grader next year. Thank you. Our new principal at College Elementary is Miss Cynthia Jared. Cynthia? principal here. However, their name is not on the agenda. It will be on the agenda in August, so I would like to recognize Mr. Mark Charles, the new principal of Blue Bonnet Elementary. Mark, did you, did you bring any family? Okay, we'll, we'll catch you again in August for your formal appointment. Um, that, are, that is um, all the, our new principals for right now. The rest will be in August. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is the consider approval of lands, uh, sale of land. Dr. Burnett? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Burnett? We're asking you to delay taking any action on that item uh, at this time. So you're saying just delay it at this time and you'll bring it back after? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. We'll postpone that until a later date. Thank you. We're now at our open forum. Persons desiring to address the Board of Trustees must fill out a speaker's card prior to the meeting. No pre presentation shall exceed three minutes. The board cannot deliberate on any subject that is not included in the agenda. And the cards that we have are, first card is Ms. Margaret Simmons. Good afternoon, Superintendent Dr. Waddell, Board President Madam Gregg, and other Board of Trustees. I am Margaret Simmons, a retired teacher of 31 years with 20 of the 31 years in the Louisville Independent School District at DeGaine Elementary. The name of a school, in my opinion, is, an as, is, is as instrumental to a district as your mission statement. If Mr. or Mrs. Vista donated the land to the Louisville South Campus, I am sure everyone in the Louisville Independent School District community would have tremendous gratitude for their kind for the in-kind donation for the education of our most valuable natural resource, our students. There are, I believe, approximately 67 schools in the Louisville Independent School District, with many other schools named after prominent educators of this district, just to name a few. We have Killian Middle School, Duro Middle School, Hill Louisville High School North, and Downing Middle School. Therefore, why not continue this pride and tradition and name the new facility Ben Harmon Louisville High School in honor of Mr. Ben Harmon, a former principal and assistant superintendent in the Louisville Independent School District. Thank you. Our next card is Wendy Siegler. Dr. Waddell, Madam President, both, <laughs> and uh, board members. 
Um, I come today basically to speak on the proposed change for spring break. Um, we know that it's been discussed in terms of students and their families who have already set plans in motion for the spring break that has already been put down. And we under I understand that we actually have uh, testing involved in that. We also want you to think about the teachers and their families who have already set that up because that has not been mentioned and that is a concern. Thank you. Next speaker, Amy Moore. Good evening, board members. Uh, my name is Amy Moore, and I was actually once a student here uh, in the school district. I am a proud uh, graduate of Louisville High School, and I had a wonderful, wonderful school experience. And I wanted the same <clears throat> for my children. So that is why I choose to live here in the Louisville School District. As a parent, I've ex had a wonderful experience as well on the elementary, middle school, and high school level. Uh, my son is a student at uh, Marcus High School, and he uh, has been chosen to uh, play uh, at a competitive level and uh, has been selected to participate in a concentrated training program. And this training program uh, is uh, put on by professional coaches, and it would be the external Category 1 PE program. Surprisingly, however, soccer is not on our approved list of external PE programs. Per your form that is uh, on the intranet, it states that the sport can be approved by the board as long as it is an Olympic sport. Soccer meets that requirement. I have always felt that this school district and that the teachers here in this school district as a whole have always provided a positive and supportive environment to develop the students to their full potential. So today, I am asking you to make a decision to add soccer and approve soccer to your external PE program before school begins in the fall so that my student uh, can exceed in his potential. So thank you. Thank you. Next, Therese Stockard. Dr. Waddell, board members. Um, I've been a proud educator for 27 years, starting in Burrville, um, and I have a problem with the proposed change to the calendar for next year. I have a prepaid trip, and I'm very concerned about having to lose the, the money that I put down or miss personal debts. So I'd like you to consider a program or some consideration for teachers as well as the uh, policy you set for students. Thank you. Our last speaker is Derek Heinga. Well, good evening, Madam President, Madam President, board members, Dr. Waddell. I tell you what, I'm Derek Hyenga from 1666 Castle Rock Drive, Louisville, Texas. I'm here tonight to talk about a celebration, a very positive celebration. The district has been moving teachers about to meet staffing needs. And at a level I've never seen before, compassion was taken to meet the needs of these teachers. Where do they live? What are their family needs? What are their desires? Instead of getting all of these angry phone calls, I'm getting joyous phone calls. And they're saying, they listened to me. They gave me exactly what I asked for. So I want to celebrate that. Now I want to take it to the next part. These teachers are going to different buildings, they're going to different grade levels, they're going to different subject areas. And the, the staff development department is saying, you know what, you're moving to a different area, you're going to need some help, we're here for you. We've set up training, they've set up trainings for these teachers moving to different subject areas. And the teachers are saying, thank you, thank you. 
I can go in here and be successful now in my new job. All right, that takes me to the point of what I'm here for tonight. We have the surveys. The teachers every year have filled out surveys for four years. I sent you guys links. You are the only board that we have ever released links like this to. You have complete access to all 30,000 data points. You guys can get in there and play and manipulate and search and any way you want to slice and dice that data. Now, <coughs> is it meaningful? I want to talk about that. We had great response rates at the elementary, pretty good response rates at the middle school, and okay at best at the high school. We are statistically valid for the high school as a whole, but we cannot single out any one campus and say this is a true story of this high school. I would be hesitant to do that for the middle schools as well. Now your elementary campuses, I shared with Dr. Waddell last week a list of concerns. He said he would address it with the leadership team. But another change I want to point out this year, I've had a handful of principals call me say, when can I get my hands on that data? When can I see what my teachers want? And I want to celebrate that. They're willing to take on the challenges, embrace it, take ownership of it, and move forward. Furthering that, I've stood before you in years past, talked about campuses that were just in a bad way. Is Mr. Pena still here tonight? You still with us? Mr. Pena, three years ago your surveys were terrible. This year they were excellent. Absolutely excellent. Mr. Pena and another campus, Southridge, have taken it and turned it into a huge positive. I see my time. Thank you. Thank you.